वेलकम टू इनफी ज्ञान फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम रेडिकल इक्वेशन इट इज एक्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टेन प्लस एक्स टाइम्स टेन माइनस एक्स इक्वल टू नाइनटी नाइन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट ऑल रियल सोल्यूशन सो लेट्स गेट इज स्टार्टेड बाई राइटिंग वन पावरफुल एलजेब्राइक आइडेंटिटी इट इज ए प्लस बी टाइम्स ए माइनस बी we will be writing a square minus b square let's apply this property here as 10 plus x 10 minus x as a plus b a minus b so i will be writing x square at root this will be 10 square minus x square and right hand side is 99 now i can write 10 square as 100 Minus x square, and power will be one over x square. And right hand side, it is ninety nine. Let's raise both sides. Power x square. So I will be writing here, power x square. And this side also, power x square. Now we know the property of exponent a power b whole power c. any time we can write a power b times c so i can write our lhs as 100 minus x square whole power i will take the product in the powers so it will get multiplied right hand side is 99 power x square now we can cancel x square with x square so it is one left so ultimately 100 minus x square it is equal to 99 par is x square let's solve this equation so i will write 100 minus x square equal to 99 par is x square now i will use substitution so let us consider 100 minus x square equal to a so from this equation i can write x square will be 100 minus a let us put the value of a here so 100 minus x square will be writing lhs a right hand side i will be writing 99 par will be 100 minus a now property of exponent will come a par b minus c any time we can write a par b divided by a par c let's use this exponent law so i can write here 99 par is 100 divided by 99 par is a left hand side is a cross multiply so i will write a times 99 par a equal to 99 par is 100 now we can write 99 as lhs 99 as e raised to the power ln 99 and whole power so i can write this a here it is a here using the property e raised to the power ln x this value will be equal to always x now if you will see we have a here and power we have a times ln 99 and right hand side is 99 power 100 now i will write the powerful lambda w function how it will work so if function having product x with e raised to the power x then its lambda w function will be x so let us use that so i will write here a times e raised to the power a ln 99 equal to 99 raised to the power 100 this was our equation in a now if you will apply here then ln 99 is missing everything is matching but here ln 99 is 
not present. So let us multiply both sides with ln 99. This side also ln 99. Let me write in the appropriate manner a ln 99 times e raised to the power a ln 99. Right hand side it is 99 power 100 times ln 99. Now let's consider lambda w function both sides. So I will write lambda w function both sides. Now left hand side will give us a ln 99 and right hand side we will write lambda w function 99 power 100. Can we write 99 power 100 as 99 plus 1 times ln 99. Now using exponent property I can split play base with the power. So 99 power 99 times 99 times ln 99. Now I will take this multiplier as exponent over here. So I can write lambda w function 99 power 99 times ln 99 power 99. Now you can see once I will change this in the form of exponential. Let me write here a ln 99. This will become lambda w function 99 power 99 times ln 99 power 99. Okay, now I will change the first 99 here e raised to the power ln 99. Now you can see this 99 is as it is times ln 99 power 99. So I can write lambda w function e raised to the power ln 99 power is 99 here times ln 99 power 99. Now again lambda w function property we can utilize. See if this is suppose k then it is written e raised to the power k. And once we are taking Lambert function, we can write this equal to k. So let us write k. Right hand side will become ln 99 power 99. And left hand side is a ln 99. Now the property of logarithmic will come into picture. a power b can be written as b ln a. So this power will be here. So LHS we can write a ln 99 and right hand side 99 ln 99. Now we can cancel ln 99 from both sides. So a is coming out 99. And let us put this value to our substitution. So a is equal to 99 and our substitution was it was 100 minus x square equal to a. So I will write here 100 minus x square equal to 99. So I can write 100 minus 99 equal to x square. So I can write x square is equal to 1. After taking a square root both sides, I can write my answer x is equal to plus and minus 1. Now I will cross check. Let's verify this value whether it is true or not. So I will be writing here check and I will write our answer plus and minus 1. Now verify x is equal to plus 1 first. Let's write our LHS. So I can write LHS as 10 plus x 
times 10 minus x whole power is 1 over x square then right hand side it should come out 99 okay let's begin with the lhs so for the value of x equal to 1 i will be writing 10 plus 1 10 minus 1 1 over 1 square this is our lhs so 11 times 9 whole power is 1 over 1 square is 1 so let me write here bracket so it is converting into 99 power 1 which is 99 which is rhs that means this is true now come to x is equal to negative 1 so i will be writing 10 minus 1 10 plus 1 and whole power i will be writing 1 over minus 1 is square so this value this time 9 times 11 and whole power it would be 1 over 1 is square which is 1 so 99 power is 1 which is our rhs hence this value is also true and verified and this brings the end of this video i hope you will like this video thank you so much for watching friends do not forget to like share subscribe Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.